getting in touch with your feelings. At first glance, this task sounds easy. I'm angry, you think to yourself. What could be easier? Actually, identifying your emotion is more difficult than you might imagine. In fact, many people are emotionally illiterate. When asked to describe how they're feeling, they use words such as bad or angry or frightened, which would be okay if these were accurate descriptors, but often they're not. Individuals say they're angry when in fact they're feeling a mix of embarrassment and surprise, or they suggest they're unhappy when they're feeling violated. Perhaps they suggest they're upset when they're really feeling humiliated and cheated. Since life doesn't consist of a series of vocabulary tests, you might wonder what difference words can make, but words do matter. Uh, knowing what you're really feeling helps you take a more accurate look at what is going on and why. Uh, for instance, you're far more likely to take an honest look at the story you're telling yourself if you admit you're feeling both embarrassed and surprised rather than simply angry. So how about you? When experiencing strong emotions, do you stop and think about your feelings? If so, do you use a rich vocabulary or do you mostly draw from these terms such as bummed out and furious? Second, do you talk with loved ones about what's going inside of you? Third, in so doing, is your vocabulary robust and accurate? It's important to get in touch with your feelings and to do so, you may want to expand your emotional vocabulary. Hi, my name is Monica Kang and you are here at Books with Monica where I read some of your favorite book and read some of mine. Uh, today I am reading Crucial Conversation and Conversations and very important uh, in one of the chapters that I just read, which is all about how you identify emotions. Let's pause for a second, shall we, right? As you even just listen to that statement, your gut reaction will be like, well, Monica, we're talking about the workplace. Why are we talking about emotion? Emotions are not, you know, too personal. Um, well, if that was kind of your opinion, I think uh, this time of the pandemic has truly shown us as another reminder of that, if that's the way you lived life, uh, that was never the correct way. You show up to work as a full person with all emotions and thoughts and your subject matter expertise. We can't separate that. If you do, then you're a human doing, not a human being. And to be fully present, to be fully in yourself, learning not only about your physical body, about you know when you have a stomach ache, how you feel healthy, how you feel energized, it's equally important to know how you express your feelings uh, because your heart and the head is connected. I mean, both are really, really important. And one of the things I appreciated the crucial conversation is we want to navigate a difficult conversation. So as I identify the crucial conversations, we need to get comfortable talking about emotion. I already see some folks out there who's like, oh, I'm not sure how to talk about it. And that's okay. And for those who are comfortable, that's great. Let's get better at it. And let's maybe perhaps bring the empathy lens because as uh, they bring up, unfortunately, most of us are grown up emotional illiterate uh, because we don't talk about it. We don't have enough time to practice communicating and honoring that. And so this week, I want to challenge you all to take a moment to think about what is one thing you can do to not only get to know your emotions better, but learn how to communicate your emotions more thoughtfully um, and listen to other people's emotion. When they say upset, what do they actually mean? When they say they're happy, what do they actually mean? So I'm gonna challenge you all, take a moment to think about that and I would love to hear your thoughts um, and how you continue to navigate crucial conversations. There's many more amazing things, but this is one of the best tips that I found really helpful. So check out the book, especially for business languages. I know all of us are having more difficult conversations. Don't underestimate in how you can navigate a powerful moment from those sour moments. And so I'll see you soon again. This is Monica King from Books with Monica.